The student I would have to choose for this is a student named Anna Lee. She has left a lasting impact on me because of her strength and her will to survive a very difficult situation. She always had a positive outlook and it was infectious. Anytime I think things are rough, I think of her and and I think about all the things that she had to push through and overcome and, and it makes me feel like I could overcome anything. A student who left a lasting impression on me was Kat Quinn. Her friendliness, even in trying times, she's always really upbeat. I think leaving an impact comes from being authentic. When you put forth who you really are, I think people respond to that. His name was Vu Pham, and he came from from Vietnam. It still blows me away. He, he didn't speak any English when he came, and they put him right in my Spanish class, and he was one of my best students. His joy was contagious. Every day he came into class happy, smiling. He would stay after class all the time just to speak to me in Spanish and ask me about my lunch or what I was doing or about my weekends. Yeah, he was a good guy. Her name was Ashley. She was a student of mine as a sophomore in 2006. She was uh, in my class from a broken home. She needed a place to live and my wife and I are foster parents and we were able to take her and then she just stayed with us the whole time. I think the biggest thing that Ashley taught me is have a wide circle of friends and get to know a lot of people. And the more people you know, the more likelihood that you can leave an impact. I want to be remembered as a person who always laughs at jokes, even though sometimes I don't even understand them. Uh, I just hope to be remembered for making LQ memorable or like fun. <laughs> yeah. I want to be remembered through my sports. I want to be the, the, the person who starts motivating others, like helping others like, do their best. I want to be supporting everybody, you know. I want to make sure they're smiling every day, create that positive environment. I think I want to be known as someone who's very genuine. I think to genuinely be part of a community is something that I want to be a part of. Are you okay? I don't know how you guys do it. I'm really stressed. Well, personally, I sometimes just pull out my sketchbook and start doodling. And sometimes I see people walking their dog in their stress. Or listen to music while doing that. As one of the most ridiculous things that we, we tell children is that there's a mythical, jolly, chubby man squeezing down a chimney to give them gifts. It's ridiculous. Santa is fake. In your dreams, the last 50 years, I've been hunting St. Nick, Chris Kroon, Santa Claus. Old jolly St. Nick, he's gonna get it. Some people call me crazy. Well, I call myself Sandy. Ho, 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 
What's he up to? Is he making a list? Is he checking it twice? Is it naughty or nice? Ooh. Not gonna tell me. I don't know. I don't know. Does this guy know? Not Mr. Rudolph. I guess you don't know. I'll tell you. What? This is not the North Pole. Feelings with an S that means more than one complexity. We're talking about feelings. We're talking about feelings in uh, this time, right? Cigar? Hey, hey, Jeremy, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, okay. <gasps> no, this can't be. Oh, oh, oh! After years of planning and working and. Working in my workshop, I figured out a way to get rid of all the naughtiness. All I have to do is one thing. <laughs> it's this. No. No. Oh yeah. <sighs> You want it? You want it? Oh! Come and get it! What? Wait, wait, why are you doing this? Hmm. No. I saw you kissing mom. Hey. 